the penetration of the male organ into the female organ for sexual pleasure as well as reproduction and is believed to be a unifying agent between couples. In this episode of Tunyaya, we're looking at issues around the rise of sexual enhancers of both local and foreign origins due to the increase in popularity of Central African men, traditional and modern sexual backups, generation gaps in sexual affairs, and publicity in marital issues and relationships. Who benefits more during sex, and is it fair for sexual satisfaction to be one-sided? All this and more on this episode of Tunyaya. If you've noticed, like, this generation, or like in this, like in the past, what, 10 years or so, sex sells. Like, people are obsessed about sex, whether it's from adverts to like TV shows, whatever, sex, sex, sex sells. So, I think what it is that people are now coming more into realization about this and are more open about it, as opposed to before where it was more of a hushed topic and taboo. So, I think that's why things like enhances and all that are getting on the market, because, well, we all know the whole thing of Central West African men with the big, you know, packing big packages is, the, is a desired effect. How do you t find yourself thinking that ah, I'm not doing performing accordingly or whatever? So you're, if you're in your own space and you've got other peers who also are not really particularly informed, they haven't particularly had enough information, it's like everyone's flapping around in the dark. So I think because of that, because of the lack of an openness, a lack of an actually healthy interaction with sexuality, uh, within our current society, I think that's when you have now room for people to manipulate that, which is the whole thing of these marketing of some of these kind of enhancing things and so forth. It's good for Warumi, and they have to do that. I don't really think we need that. Um, generations change. I'm pretty sure our old people, our, our grandparents and all, they probably used to use those. Sexual enhancers are a real thing. And I believe in them. Because, I mean, you're not always wet or you don't always have a hard on. So you need help. Some people have a long play. It's okay to, to, to bust a nut in like 15 seconds at some point. Who knows? Whatever it is. You go to the house and you go to the house and you go to the house. Two minutes, two seconds. Kaka, kaka, kaka. At all, bro. So, man, I want to go to the house and go to the house and go to the house. I want to go to the house and go to the house. Because I want to go to the house. I find it fascinating, almost nobody's read the Kama Sutra. Everybody's read the bit in the middle with all these expositions. Nobody's read the pages and pages at the beginning about how do you look after yourself? What kind, what is desirable in a man? What is desirable in a woman? How should a man manage his affairs? If a man has a wife and wants a concubine, what must he achieve to be able to keep both people happy? Any grown-up man knows their life doesn't revolve around just sex. And that's a large part of why, if you've noticed with recent marriages, they're not lasting very long because you're having people meet where one person has now just learned the sex stuff. Because even if you take out Shinamari, there's lots of places to learn sex stuff. But if you learn the sex stuff and you don't learn, you know what? Maybe people don't like to be shouted at every day. Maybe even though they're wrong, sometimes let the guy win. Don't let him wake up and feel like his home is a battleground every day. Those are the things that we're taught. I, I don't actually know if these young girls now need this kind of tra training, because true stories, they can watch Roxy Reynolds any day on, on, on the web. Um, and I don't think it's, I, I think as, as far as the culture is concerned with the well, male, female circumcisions as well, which came along with this Chinamwari stuff, I don't know if it's happening anymore. I, I, my opinion on it is just that, you know what, it's okay, let's get rid of that shit. I seriously think there's nothing wrong with that, as long as it's being done in a 
in a what can I say in a way that is not very disrespectful either to the girl or whatever uh, it shouldn't be too explicit in any way um, there's nothing wrong with getting taught how to treat your man by the elders who know because my aunt has been married for how many years I don't know so she knows better what should be done if you're gonna take girls up to a mountain please teach them how to be the ones to receive the pleasure not give the pleasure i don't like that i don't like that whole is to pleasure your man when sex is for everybody okay wait if it's for my pleasure great but it's to pleasure others no if it makes me find my spot oh yeah i'm gonna go because i mean i do those movements because it was misaimed there's no gatekeeping there's nothing that's the problem we have so we've made it so easily accessible that our children are so opened up to these things and they're gonna take selfies and they're gonna send to their friends they're gonna take provocative pictures and they're gonna think it's all right it's gonna be very hard for us to deal with that with, with with this that's happening because we really can't control it unless you're not gonna give your child a phone one of the biggest misunderstandings that's caused a lot of social upheaval in this country is people not understanding that our parents were freaks but our parents knew that you didn't talk about it our parents knew if nigi gets caught cheating that's a private story because the biggest effect of that wasn't the cheating or the getting caught. It was everybody else knows now we have to do something about it. And they kept it internal. There were all sorts of freaky things that were happening, but that society decided these are not the things we publicize. We keep them on the down low. It doesn't matter what happens in the house, so long as outside we portray this great smiley picture. Then you have a generation of people come up who thought that what was portrayed was what was real. So they looked at their normal lives and thought, the tiny bit of drama I've got, my parents never had that drama. Something's wrong with this dude, we're ending it. Let me find a dude with zero drama. Not understanding, your parents had drama. Just didn't publicize it. They didn't go on WhatsApp or Facebook and tell the whole world, we've had an argument. Like people in their houses don't have much bigger, much nastier arguments. But they solve them and they move on. Once you've publicized it, it's now in the public realm and that the actions that must be taken must satisfy the public. You can't get back together like nothing happened because every time you're on the street, someone goes, oh, Saka, you forgave me. I don't know how it's going to affect humanity in the long run. I think we are the guinea pigs. We're the Generation X. We will only know later on in life what the effects are when our women can expose us online for being, for, for crying and liking our balls tickled. Or, because that's what they're talking about in these WhatsApp groups. You know, my husband likes a finger and is, you know, they, it, this is what this is happening. Do, when you see these girls come to your house and they're laughing, your, your wife told them things. I'll be like, <laughs> you know, no, he cries when he comes. Sex is a currency that women should master and use for power. Not the way it's been right now, where it's used against us for power over. I, I don't think it should be like you have to move like this and I actually think you study your person and then you find a rhythm so it can be Chinamari remixed <laughs> <laughs>